Welcome back to my channel, and today we're tackling a subject that holds immense importance in the realm of investing. Understanding when it's the right time to part ways with a stock. In the midst of the excitement surrounding buying stocks and envisioning potential gains, the strategic art of selling often takes a back seat. It's akin to focusing on the opening act of a play while neglecting the significance of a well-executed final bow. Today, we're diving deep into the intricacies of selling stocks, those crucial moments when it's not just wise but necessary. Imagine this journey as a tapestry woven with threads of insight that shape your investment narrative. We're here to unravel the mystery and misconceptions surrounding the act of selling stocks. Before we embark on this enlightening exploration, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new here, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you stay updated with our latest content. And now, with anticipation building, let's delve into the moments that signify it's time to sell. So, if you're ready to enhance your investment understanding and gain a fresh perspective on selling stocks, let's uncover the only five scenarios that truly matter. But before we dive into those scenarios, let's lay the foundation. Let's dive into our first act, exploring the scenario of fundamental changes. Imagine a company as a ship navigating the waters of the market. Now, what happens when that ship encounters turbulent seas? Fundamental changes are like those waves that can reshape the course of the company's journey. These changes can manifest in various ways. It could be a sudden drop in revenue, indicating a shift in consumer demand or competitive pressures. It might be a change in leadership, where the captain of the ship changes course, potentially impacting the company's strategic direction. Think about the technological revolution, a company that doesn't adapt to new innovations risks becoming obsolete, and that's a fundamental change that's hard to ignore. So, why is this important for us as investors? Well, it's about protecting our interests. Imagine you're a shareholder in a company that you believe to be solid and stable. But then, news breaks about a significant decline in sales and profits. This fundamental shift could spell trouble for your investment. That's why staying informed is absolutely crucial. Keep an ear to the ground, follow financial news, and be attentive to quarterly reports. It's like being a detective, gathering clues about the company's health. Remember, just as a ship's crew adjusts its sails in response to changing winds, as investors, we need to adjust our strategies in response to fundamental changes. Sometimes, it might mean making the tough decision to sell a stock. Think of it this way, you wouldn't want to stay aboard a ship that's taking on water, right? In the same vein, you wouldn't want to hold on to a stock that's facing fundamental challenges. So, the next time you spot fundamental changes in a company you're invested in, take a moment to assess the situation. Are these changes temporary squalls or signs of a more profound shift? Your decision to sell might just be the lifeboat that saves your investment journey from stormy waters. With our first act complete, we're ready to move on to the second scenario. A scenario that's all about you and your personal financial goals. So, stick around as we explore how achieving your dreams can influence your decision to sell a stock. And now, let's step into the spotlight of our second act. Understanding when selling a stock aligns with achieving your personal financial goals. Think of your investment portfolio as a canvas, and each stock you hold as a brushstroke contributing to the masterpiece of your financial life. Just as an artist carefully selects each stroke to create their desired image, as an investor, you make choices that align with your aspirations. Imagine this, you've been diligently investing with a particular goal in mind, whether it's buying your dream home, funding your child's education, or enjoying a comfortable retirement. Your stocks are more than numbers on a screen, they're the tools helping you shape your future. When the time comes to achieve those goals, selling a stock can be your palette knife, refining your financial portrait. Let's say you've been eyeing a beautiful house, and you've reached a point where you're ready to make that purchase. Selling a portion of your investment portfolio can provide the funds you need to turn that dream into a reality. But here's the key, it's not just about selling haphazardly. 
it's about having a clear investment plan, one that factors in your dreams and timelines. Just as a conductor guides an orchestra to create a harmonious symphony, you guide your investments to create a harmonious financial future. Remember, every sold stock isn't an end, it's a means to an end, a stepping stone toward your goals. So, when you're considering selling a stock, ask yourself, does this move me closer to my aspirations? Does it help me realize the dreams I've been painting with my investments? As we close the curtain on this act, remember that selling to achieve your goals is a deliberate, thoughtful decision. And just like a painter who knows when to put down the brush, you, too, will know when it's time to sell a stock and step into the new chapter of your financial masterpiece. With this act completed, we're now ready to move into the realm of valuation, where understanding the value of your stocks can be the guiding light in your decision-making. Stay tuned as we explore the concept of overvaluation and its impact on when to sell a stock. Ladies and gentlemen, let's raise the curtain on our third act, a journey into the world of overvaluation and its role in the decision to sell a stock. Imagine walking into a high-end boutique and spotting a designer dress that catches your eye. You're in love with it, but then you glance at the price tag, and it's astronomically high, much higher than what the dress is worth. In the world of stocks, this scenario plays out too, and it's known as overvaluation. Overvaluation occurs when the market price of a stock exceeds its intrinsic value, just like that designer dress priced beyond reason. The stock might be popular, hyped, or riding a temporary wave of enthusiasm, but when the price isn't justified by the company's earnings or fundamentals, it's a red flag. Think of it as the market's version of keeping up with the Joneses. Everyone's talking about a particular stock, and it's soaring, but is it truly worth its price? Just because everyone's raving about it doesn't mean it's a sound investment. Recognizing overvaluation is like being the discerning shopper who questions whether that high-priced dress is truly worth the hype. As investors, we need to be discerning, too. Understanding key indicators like price-to-earnings (PE) ratios can be your compass in this journey. Picture this, a company's stock has a P-E ratio that's much higher than the average for its industry. This could be a sign that the stock is overvalued. It's like paying top dollar for a dress that's similar to others on the rack but costs way more. Now, overvaluation doesn't mean the stock is destined to crash, just as an expensive dress doesn't guarantee a fashion disaster. However, it does mean that the stock might be due for a reality check. And that's where selling comes into play. Selling an overvalued stock isn't about being a pessimist, it's about being a realist. It's like recognizing that high-priced dress might not be the best deal and exploring other options that offer better value. So, when you spot an overvalued stock in your portfolio, consider whether the price aligns with its true worth. Just as you wouldn't overspend on a dress, you wouldn't want to overcommit to an overvalued stock. As the curtain falls on this act, remember that understanding overvaluation is about safeguarding your investment against the allure of hype. Now that we've explored overvaluation, it's time to transition to our fourth act, where the concept of diversification takes center stage. Stay tuned as we unravel how diversification can influence your decision to sell. Ladies and gentlemen, let's move forward to our fourth act, a spotlight on the power of diversification and its role in the decision to sell a stock. Imagine your investment portfolio as a well-curated art gallery showcasing a diverse array of artworks. Just as a gallery seeks a balance between colors, themes, and styles, your portfolio aims for balance between different stocks and sectors. This harmony is what we call diversification. Diversification is like creating a symphony where each instrument plays a unique role, contributing to the overall melody. When one stock plays a loud note, another may play a soft one, creating harmony even in volatility. Think about it, holding too much of a single stock is like relying on one musician to carry the entire symphony. If they falter, the whole performance suffers. Diversification steps in as the conductor, ensuring that even if one instrument falters, the melody continues. Consider the technology sector, for instance. 
Imagine having a significant portion of your portfolio invested in just one tech company. Now, if that company faces challenges, let's say it struggles with a product launch, your entire portfolio could feel the impact. But with diversification, your portfolio isn't overly reliant on a single sector or stock. It's like having a diverse cast of characters in a play. If one actor can't perform, the show goes on with others seamlessly taking their place. Diversification offers stability even in the face of uncertainty. So, when does selling come into play in this context? Well, it's when the harmony shifts. If a stock in your portfolio starts to dominate, throwing off the balance, it might be time to consider selling. Think of it as the gallery curator rearranging artworks to maintain balance. Selling a stock to rebalance your portfolio is like tuning an instrument to ensure it's in harmony with the rest of the orchestra. As we draw the curtains on this act, remember that diversification isn't just about spreading risk. It's about ensuring a balanced performance in your investment journey. Now that we've explored diversification, we're ready to step into our final act, where we uncover a scenario that calls for adaptation, changing your investment thesis. Stay tuned for insights on how shifts in perspective can influence your decision to sell. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our final act, an exploration of the dynamic world of changing investment thesis and its impact on the decision to sell a stock. Imagine your investment thesis as a roadmap, guiding your journey through the intricate terrain of the stock market. Your thesis comprises the reasons you invested in a particular stock in the first place, whether it was a promising technology, a new market trend, or a visionary leadership team. But just as landscapes evolve, so does the market. Imagine investing in a traditional brick-and-mortar retail company, only to witness the meteoric rise of online giants changing the rules of the game. Suddenly, your investment thesis doesn't align with the shifting reality. Changing investment thesis is like rewriting a chapter in a book. As new information comes to light, your perspective evolves, and that can influence your investment decisions. Consider this, let's say you invested in a renewable energy company driven by the belief in a green energy revolution. But then, a breakthrough technology emerges, making your company's technology obsolete. Your investment thesis, centered around a green future, now faces a roadblock. Just as an author adapts their story as new characters emerge, you, too, must adapt your investment thesis. It's not about clinging to outdated beliefs, but about staying attuned to the winds of change. When does selling come into play here? Well, it's when your investment thesis no longer holds water. It's like realizing that the story you set out to tell has taken an unexpected twist, and it's time to revise your narrative. As investors, we're not rigid scriptwriters, we're adaptable storytellers. Selling a stock in this scenario is like concluding a chapter gracefully, making room for the next exciting plotline. Remember, just as characters in a story grow and evolve, your investment thesis should grow too, shaped by emerging trends and changing landscapes. As the curtain falls on this final act, remember that changing investment thesis isn't a sign of failure. It's a testament to your ability to adapt and thrive in an ever-changing market. With these insights, we conclude our exploration of when to sell a stock. Thank you for joining me on this enlightening journey. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, stay informed, stay empowered, and I'll catch you in the next one. And there you have it, my fellow investors, the spotlight fades as we bring our exploration to a close. We've ventured through the intricate world of when to sell a stock, unraveling the five critical scenarios that guide this strategic decision-making. From fundamental changes that shape a company's destiny to achieving your personal dreams through well-timed sales, from recognizing overvaluation to preserve your investment's value, to the symphony of diversification that ensures harmony even in volatility, and finally, the dynamic realm of changing investment thesis that calls for adaptability, each scenario holds its own spotlight, offering insight into the delicate balance of when to exit the stage. Remember, investing isn't a monologue, it's a conversation with the market, shaped by your knowledge, goals, and understanding.
The decision to sell a stock isn't just a financial one, it's a narrative that you co-create with the companies you invest in and the ever-evolving market landscape. As you navigate this intricate dance, trust in your ability to decipher the cues, adapt to the rhythm, and make decisions that align with your financial aspirations. Thank you for joining me today, for engaging in this dialogue, and for embracing the complexities of the investment landscape. As always, stay curious, stay informed, and may your investment journey be both rewarding and enlightening. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you in our next exploration.